Hello everyone. Today is April the 25th. Uh, it's going to get up into the upper 70 degrees today up here in far western Maryland. So I figured I'd go around, uh, flip some rocks and logs, hopefully looking for some snakes. Um, this is going to be the last good day for snakes in probably over a week. Uh, temperatures are going to drop. Uh, only highs in the 50s, which isn't perfect for snakes. I think almost all of them are going to retreat back underground uh, for a little while. But today I'm going to focus on snakes mostly, uh, but I'll show you anything else I find. Well, here are the first herps of the day. These are American toads. These two are in amplexus right now, two pairs. And I've actually seen a couple so far. Um, Seems to be that toads are in, there's a ton over here too. Toads are in full breeding mode right now, which is cool. No snakes yet, surprisingly, even though I flipped some sites where I usually find a ton of snakes. But nevertheless, I'm gonna keep on searching and hopefully we find some more. All right guys, so first snakes of the day are these two queen snakes. I ended up seeing one slip into the water and it went right underneath the rock and I was able to grab it. And then I turned right around to get away from the stream to take a recording because uh, the stream's pretty loud. And the one up top here was just laying there basking, so I was able to grab him too. But definitely the best way to start the day uh, for snakes. It's really hoping to see these guys. Uh, these are my first ones of the year. Um, really cool looking snakes. Uh, in the next clip, I'll show you their bellies right now. I probably can't show you them, show the bellies too well in this clip. But really cool snakes, um, but I'm going to take a couple photos and then let them go. So here's what the bellies look like on these guys. Really cool, like stripey, real cool coloration. Just overall a really, really cool species to see. But still going to have to photograph these guys real quick. Um, and then I'm just going to let them go exactly where I found them. All right, so I'm just going to go let these guys go right where I found them. All right, see you later, guys. All right, so I just let those guys go. Hopefully you guys can hear me uh, over the water. But right there looks to be another queen snake. So I literally let them go. The rock's right there. And it looks like another queen snake is right here. So let me grab them real quick. Nice. These guys are pretty spazzy today. Man, this one's a little bit bigger than the other ones. Oh, don't bite me. These guys are rather uh, bitey today. They actually haven't got me yet, but they've been opening their mouths and striking a lot, uh, which is, at least in my experience, kind of abnormal for this species. They're usually uh, relatively docile when I catch them, but I'm gonna just take a quick photo and then I'm just gonna let her go right where I found her. All right, so the next snake of the day is going to be this really pretty northern water snake. This guy's got a really nice pattern on him. I hope you guys can see that well in the video. Really pretty snake, and these guys are really pretty on their bellies. I can flip them around for you guys. You can get kind of a glimpse. Really cool looking bellies. I really like these snakes, even though they are a tad bit aggressive. This guy's already bit me a good many times. And what I love about water snakes, they do a death roll when you catch them, where they just spin, which this guy was doing a little bit there. There you can kind of see that belly. But really cool snakes. Uh, I'm just going to take a quick photo, and then I'm just going to release them right where I found them. All right, next snakes of the day is a double flip. I'm going to grab this guy real quick. Here's a beautiful little baby eastern milk snake. This is my first one of the year, and this is a really big northern ringneck snake look at that he even has like black dots he looks like a southern almost that's really cool but it's definitely a northern in this area all right let me put down this rock and then i will show you guys more of these two all right so here's a better look at this little baby eastern milk snake love these guys i think they're so cool looking uh when they're juveniles but really cool pattern. Glad I finally saw one this year. I'm surprised it took me this long to find one. 
But look how tiny he is compared to this ringneck snake. My phone would focus. This ringneck snake is definitely over a foot long and he has a super stubby tail. So he must've had an injury. You can see on his belly, he has those little black marks. Um, I don't recall ever really seeing that on a Northern before. Um, and we're up here in the mountains of Maryland, so we are nowhere near where we would get the Southern ringneck snakes, but really cool. I'm gonna take photos and then let these guys go right back underneath their rock. All right, so next snake of the day is just a much smaller Northern ringneck snake. See this guy has much uh, dollar pattern on the belly. Uh, just kind of yellowish, not as brightly orange as that a really big adult. But I'm just gonna flip his rock back and I'm just gonna let him go right back underneath. Next snake is another northern ringneck snake. I'm gonna get this guy out from underneath the rock. But cool, nice little pattern on this guy. Uh, nice, kind of more orangey than the last one I just showed you. But I'm just gonna move his rock back, right back and release him right underneath. All right, it's another ringneck snake. All right, so next ringneck snake of the day, I'm just gonna let that guy go. And then I'm just gonna put his rock right back down. Next snake of the day is this little decays brown snake. Let me got, move this guy real quick. First one of the year for myself. Uh, these guys are pretty cool, uh, relatively common in this area. But I'm gonna take a quick photo and I'm gonna move his rock back and let him crawl right back underneath. All right, so just releasing this brown snake. Oh, nice. Two really big northern ringneck snakes. That's awesome. This one is huge. I'm just gonna let that guy go. This one is huge. This thing's well over a foot long. That is really cool. Well, yeah, take a quick photo of this dude. Sorry for the traffic, I'm right next to a road. But I'm gonna take a quick photo of this dude and then I'm just gonna put his rock back and let him crawl back underneath. Next snake of the day is this little Eastern Garter. Let me go ahead and try to grab this guy so I can put his rock back down. There we go. Ugh. This little Eastern Garter, so another new species for the day. Uh, I've seen already a couple of these guys this year, uh, which you guys have seen in my previous videos if you've watched but cool little snakes uh, i'm gonna take a quick photo and put him right back underneath his rock next snake is another eastern garter snake this one's much bigger so i'm gonna grab this guy and give me a nice little bite cool well sorry not getting some of these on flip clips but some of these rocks are just too big for me to to film uh flipping and seeing the snakes so I'm just gonna take a photo and put this rock back down because it's currently crushing my toes right now. <laughs> and then uh, I'm gonna just release this guy right back underneath. All right, so I put that rock back down. So I'm just gonna release this guy right back underneath. All right, so the next snake is a little juvenile Eastern garter snake that is currently giving me a love bite, which surprisingly kind of stings right now for some reason. So must have some sharp little teeth, but I'm just gonna get this guy detached from my thumb and put him right underneath his rock. All right, so another ring neck. So the next snake of the day is just another ring neck. So let me just get that guy out of the way and I'm gonna put his rock back down. Next snake of the day is just another Eastern garter snake. Uh, caught underneath this really big rock. Pretty cool. Um, should have kept track of how many snakes we're up to today, but we are certainly in the double digits now. 
But I'm gonna take a quick photo um, and just let this guy slither back underneath his rock. Next snakes of the day are these two northern ringneck snakes. Um, there's actually three underneath this rock. Uh, one was able to get away, but pretty cool. Um, probably getting close to double digits on ringnecks alone. So I'm just gonna leave these guys go uh, after I flip back this big rock. So here's the one of the ringnecks that I just caught that I just showed you. It's kind of, he has that black pattern down the belly, which I really never see either that or I just never bothered to look. Uh, at the ringneck snakes bellies around here uh, when I catch them just because they're so common uh, but it's kind of weird um, I just don't see northerns with this pattern um, that like a southern ringneck would have but kind of odd snakes around here I guess um, for this particular subspecies uh, for the northern ringnecks but I'm just going to take a photo of that belly and then I'm just going to let them go so for those who do not know, um, exactly where I've been herping today, lots of rocks have not been put back properly, um, which is not a good thing uh, for, for snakes. So when you guys put back a rock, I haven't even flipped this yet. I mean, this is how I found it. You can tell that's where the rock is supposed to be. Um, just for future reference for you guys, anybody that goes herping, just always make sure you put the rocks back um, as best as possible of how you found them. Uh, rocks and logs underneath is almost like their own little ecosystem. And if you mess it up just by a little, uh, can cause snakes and other herps and uh, other wildlife not to use those places anymore. So just good ethics of herping, just put your rocks back where you found them. Look at this beautiful milk snake that I just flipped. I wish I would have got a flip clip of this guy. Ah, oh, really cool. I just love seeing the babies of this species. I think they're just so cool. And look at that pattern, that checkered pattern on the belly that these species have. Really cool. Well, I'm just gonna take a photo definitely of this guy since he's really pretty. And then I'm just gonna release them right where I found them. All right, so just caught a little tiny baby Northern ringneck snake. It's definitely the smallest one of the day and probably one of the smaller uh, ringnecks that I've ever caught before. So just going to take a quick photo and just going to release them. All right, so I'm just going to release this little ringneck snake right back underneath this rock. Come on. There he goes. All right, guys. So the next snakes of the day are these three decays brown snakes. Um, I'm actually at my parents' property at one of the snakes gardens that I made a few years back. But pretty cool. This one's really big here in the middle. Has a nice pattern, kind of chestnutty on the side and just kind of more of a light brown down the middle. Really cool species of snakes. Uh, I'm going to take a photo of all three of these guys before I let them go. Um, and then I'm just going to put them right back underneath their rocks. All right, guys, just made it home. I'm just gonna check a few of my snake boards uh, to wrap up this video. Nothing. There we go. It's the Eastern garter snake. This is the first one under this board for the year. But I'm just going to take a photo and then I'm just gonna put down the board just real gently back on top of them. All right, guys, so only one snake under my boards today, but this should do it for the video. Uh, probably had the most successful day of snakes so far this year. Uh, not too sure how many uh, number-wise we got, but we got about six species. I think it was six species uh, today. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next one.